Well, hello, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. I am Nate. I want to say welcome to the channel if you're new. And we've got this really nice home called the Asher. So this is kind of a little black wallboard right here, or not wallboard, but uh, smart board, I should say. And then the rest of the home is done in the gray. Looks really good. This is a four bedroom, two bath home. You've got an extra large living room, really large den. I like these little tin um, window coverings here. Not gonna be able to get to the back side of that that way, that's for sure. <laughs> so let me swing on around here. All right, so there is our back door. Now, as I was saying, you've got a really large living room, really large den. And this is at Pratt Homes in uh, Tyler, Texas. So I wanna say thank you to Pratt Homes for letting me come to film their homes. And this one's got uh, kind of a unique floor plan to it. Like the hallway in this one has got a zigzag in it. Can't say I've ever seen that before. You'll get what I'm talking about when we get inside. But yeah, it's got a big old zigzag. Hey, no peeking into the bathroom there. You can't not be peeking in there. Yeah, look at, look at that big old window. These big old windows, those are all in your master bathroom. Of course, so is that transom window there. Now let's head on in. Not only do you get this recess here, but you've got a foyer entrance. Okay, so we are inside and you can see you've got this little foyer area here. Some cabinets there and a place to set your keys, your mail, that kind of stuff. Check yourself right as you walk in. And then we've got our living room area. We've got the nice crown molding all the way around. Our vents are in the ceiling. So it looks really good, really nice. I like the layout of the living room, those big windows over there. And then as we pan around, we've got our kitchen and our dining room. And they went with the tray ceiling in here with the gray paint as an accent. But I love these beams that run across here. And look at how many lights are in there. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the name of the home. This is called the Asher. Now we do have some big old pots and pants drawers with these blue cabinets. On this side, now they are a little bit away from the stove over there. 
We've got our great big farmhouse sink. I'd like to maybe see the drawers like maybe right here or something like that, but it's nice to have them. And I like this vent hood cover they got here. Looks really good. And then the backsplash. And then on each side you've got the subway tile. And that is what covers the rest of the kitchen. And look at the size of this prep counter. And how many cabinets you got down below. Let's see. I'm picking one. Oh, it's empty. I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm telling you on this trip, usually the first drawer I open, well, I technically I opened the pot and pan drawer, so it was empty too. But generally, <laughs> for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what drawer I pick, I have uh, there's been something in it. And there's some more great big windows above your counter there. Looks really good. And then we've got our corner pantry. Now, I didn't even look in here. I just knew it was a corner pantry, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those that surprised me the other or earlier that like went way down when you opened the door. I wasn't expecting it. And then we have this huge dining room area. I'm not sure if I even mentioned the overall size of the home. It is 2,300 square foot. Nice accent wall on the back over there. Now we're going to get the bedrooms at this end. Hallway had a little zigzag to it. <laughs> so see, you got to walk around things. But the first bedroom is right here. Now this one has your door at an angle and then an angle on that wall to accommodate for that zigzag. But they went out with this one instead of just making the hall straight out. So it gives you a little bit extra space in this bedroom. And that is your water heater access back there. And then in the bedroom directly across the way, they went with carpet in the rest of the bedrooms. That one had the linoleum flooring. And then our closet here, just your standard size closet. And then in between those two bedrooms is your bathroom. And you've got the big cubby down below, a couple of cabinets underneath. Plenty of counter space in here. Hello, Raiden. Yep, I see you. <laughs> We've got some drawers over here. And then some open cubbies right here for your linens and things like that. And then they went with a cabinet above your toilet. And then we've got that big shower tub combo in here.
In bedroom number three. Now I'm sure if you chose to do away with the den, you could probably make this into a five bedroom home and make the bedrooms a little bit bigger. But I'm telling you, I haven't mentioned a thing about the utility room yet. Just, it's coming. You wait. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on the utility room. It's behind those double doors. Yeah. Your utility room is behind two barn doors. It's got to be one of the nicest utility rooms I've ever seen. So now you can see going this way, you've got that little zigzag in the hallway right there. Now this would be your den. And it has your back door with the blinds in it. And you've got the beams going across there and then you've got room or the built in already there for your ceiling fan. Okay, now you ready for this? Check this out. Yeah. You've got an island in your utility room. You have a big folding table in here. I mean, look at how many windows are in your utility room. You've got the all important sink. You've got your side by sides right there with some cabinets above them. Space for your freezer. Now you can put a big old stand-up freezer right there. We've got some cubbies down below here. Now, it's a little dark, so I can't really... So we've got some cubbies down below here. Now, check out the other side of your utility room. We've got some drawers. We got lots of drawers back here. We got some cubbies. Now I think you could take this center section of this out, take out these center drawers and make this a big office area even. I don't know if that's an option or not, but I'm sure you could probably do it. And not only do you get one plug with the USBs, but you get two of them. So that makes the perfect charging station. Of course, there's your utility box or your electrical panel. We gotta go check out that master bathroom down there. We'll start with the bedroom. Then we've got our really large walk-in closet. The dual shelves at one end. We've got the single rack running the full length of the closet. And now for the master bathroom.
Now just look how big that counter is. Of course, you got your under sink cabinets with some cubbies down below. Drawers at this end, some more cubbies up above. We've got the same thing down at this end. You've got the sconce hanging out with your recessed lighting. And great big vanity mirror with the dual sinks. Then we've got this kind of unique looking old fashioned styled tub. So it's kind of modern, but yet styled after an old fashioned tub. Those great big windows there. And there was that other big window. And at the end of the bathroom is your water closet. And they give you a cabinet up above it. And then let's come on around and here is your tile shower. You've got the same kind of tiling that was used in the kitchen. Looks really good. And they went with that dark rustic wood look for the rest of it. Okay, now how about them comments? We don't know on any dark comments, but you know, you could leave some rustic comments like uh, some old cowboy sayings or whatever else, you know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the home. What do you like? What do you think of the floor plan with that little zigzag? How about this kitchen? It's a nice looking kitchen, huh? While you're down there, don't forget to hit the uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bells. That way you get notified when I upload videos. I appreciate you watching and I'll be back here in a minute with some price information. All right, we're back. So this is a really nice home. Like I said, this one comes in at uh, just over 2,300 square foot. I think it's like 2,305 or something like that. But uh, really nice home. So uh, as you guys probably saw come in the uh, beginning there, I said that this was an outgoing model. There's a new one coming in. So this one is a 2022 model. And of course, I forgot to get the uh, manufacturer of the home. So uh, I called uh, Pratt Homes this morning just before I filmed or uh, started editing this to get that information. And that's when they told me that uh, that one's going out and they got a new one coming in, which will be the 2023 model. So that home is uh, in the process of being taken down, ready to be delivered to their new, its new family. But uh, now we got to get into some price information. So the price information I had was for that 2022 model in January of 2023. They did tell me the price is going to be basically the same as, it, as that model there. So with that, we've got, uh, let me see, I got to refer back to my notes here. So this was a manufacturer, it was not a modular. And so uh, that's made by Champion Homes. So the price information that they gave me has this coming in at, depending on options, between $75 up to $100 a square foot. So once again, this was for the 2022 model. He said basically the same for the 2023, might be just a couple bucks more per square foot. They don't know yet till they actually get it in their lot. But with that, I do appreciate you watching. Make sure you're hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, turning on those notifications. Well, should turn it on those notifications so that way uh, you get notified when I upload videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.